Hey guys, how's it going? Hope things are good with you. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how do you do career analysis. So someone comes to you and they say, look, uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing this job. Yes, money is good, but then uh, I just can't connect myself to the job. I mean, it's just job for me. I don't feel satisfaction. I don't feel content. I don't, you know, I don't feel enthusiastic about doing my job. Whereas, or on the other hand, someone comes and says that, yeah, I feel very nice, very connected, but the money is bad. You know, I, I never get recognized, you know, there's no promotion. Or this particular business that I'm doing, I, I you know, although I love doing it so much, but the money is just not there. The sort of questions, how would you find a person's affinity in the same time, strike the balance uh, with pecuniary interest of money? You know, how, how do you strike the balance? There are five things that you need to check. Number one, is the first floor uh, and the first house itself and also of course the nakshatra which is ruling that now these three attributes will show a person's natural behavior or personality you know the natural traits the person has now, the nakshatra and the rasi would show what sort of jobs uh, what sort of interest what sort of field that a person would go okay remember the first house the first floor will show a person's behavior and with that behavior it also will have a list of um, Feel of jobs uh, based on the nakshatra and rasi. Second thing is the um, uh, the seventh house from the moon. Okay, now the seventh house from the from your rasi or from your moon sign. Seventh house shows what your mind loves to do. Okay, uh, what is your mind craving for? Right, um, and this one you can use this for other. You know, you can apply this for other uh, situations in, uh, in in when it comes to astrology not necessarily career but the seventh house from the moon shows what you really love doing right so in the context of jobs this is a very apt thing to do right so it's it shows okay uh, this these are the fields of jobs that you can do uh, or the quarant can be doing based on the rasi and the nakshatra of the seventh house from the moon okay the third thing is the Shatbala. The Shatbala or the strongest um, Graha uh, based on the Shatbala scheme will show the person's uh, enduring uh, tendencies or capacity to to face uh, any problems you know which will come in their jobs and from there you can find based on the Nakshatra of the uh, of the uh, Graha which is residing uh, I mean the strongest Grahas uh, residing uh, house what is the nakshatra there? And from there you would see, okay, these are the jobs which this person will really endure. No matter what problem comes, he or she will fight, will break the adversities uh, and move on in, in that particular field, right? So I've said three things, now two more. Um, next would be the 10th house, obviously, the 10th and the 10th lord and the nakshatra which is residing there. Now this will give a person name and fame and recognition. Now it's just not about the money, but also, you know, the the increment, the prosperity in terms of your career or business, right? Uh, and the last is the sixth house, the sixth lord, and the nakshatra in the sixth house as well. Now, why the sixth? Because the sixth is the house of day-to-day -day responsibilities, okay? It's, it's uh, one thing that, okay, you're making some money and you're really connected to your job, but are you doing it? Uh, I mean, are you doing it on a very regular basis or you're doing it only, you know, uh, very staggeredly or based on your, you know, bills and fancy? Are you really committed to your job? That's what the sixth house is all about. Uh, and of course, the sixth also is house of service, which is why it is, you know, a service means you need to do it continuously. It has to be a sustainable um, fashion, right? So the sixth House will give you a good idea on, on whether this querent will be actually committed to his or her job. Now, if the six is afflicted, then that needs to be connected. Or someone comes to you and says, like, I keep changing my job every now and then. I just don't understand why I'm doing it. Uh, sometimes I don't like my boss. Sometimes the pay is not right. Sometimes my colleagues are you know, very envious. It's just something coming every now and then. Um, and I keep moving my jobs every every like six months I get a new job kind of stuff. Then definitely, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for years, and I can tell you that definitely the sixth house is afflicted. So look what's wrong there, and uh, you know you can uh, recommend certain remedies, 
right? So these are the five things that you uh, should be checking, or at least from my point of view, um, uh, on the prerequisites of getting the right job, now, not necessarily going for a job, but uh, uh, not just your career, but also your business as well. You know, what is the thing that you are going to do to bring money, fame, and most importantly, the contentment, the satisfaction in doing it. All right. So I hope this video is beneficial. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.